There's only one tool that I use to manage my career, my business, and my personal life. And that includes planning and creating content, managing all of my different clients, setting reminders for when I need to catch up with different friends. And that app is Notion. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Ademu Shoyo, and I teach you how to get more time, life, and energy out of each day using different productivity hacks and strategies. If you're unfamiliar with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one productivity tool that allows you to write documents, keep track of projects and tasks. Pretty much anything that you could have ever thought possible can really be done in Notion. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of my Notion hacks that I use to manage my business, career, and my personal life. The number one thing that I love to use Notion for is planning. Having a place to visualize and capture all of your goals and ideas or projects and tasks in a way that is visually represented and something that you can take with you, whether you're on the go or in front of your computer, is such a game changer when it comes to really, really being your best and most optimal productive self. I have several projects and task databases that I use for my business, my career, and my personal life. So it really does allow me to get a good understanding of what responsibilities that I have, what ideas do I have that I'm currently working and executing on. I also use it to plan out my content um, for my Instagram and my Twitter and my TikTok and even for YouTube. So it allows me to really be able to visualize and start to see where, oh, I might not like this post here, so I wanna put it there, or maybe I have too many projects going on, so I know that I need to say no to some of the projects that I might have upcoming. I also plan out things like my goals and ideas, as well as different, keeping track of different wellness activities, like exercising or writing my Peloton or reading, or even just hanging out with friends. Outside of planning in Notion, Notion is also really good for tracking and really starting to see how you're progressing towards any of the plans or ideas that you may have. One of the most powerful things about the Notion databases is that you can filter and create different views like lists, table, and calendar views so that you're able to see the data that you need to see in the way that you need to see it, which makes it really easy to add to any other page that you might wanna reference those particular like projects or tasks or anything else that you have within the database. One of the best things about Notion is that you don't only just need to plan for right now, you can plan for the future. For example, if a project isn't just quite ready for you to get started, you can still have it there sitting underneath like the backlog status so that when you are ready to work on that project, you already have some of the initial notes and ideas that you might have. Additionally, within that database, if you have the date property, you can actually use it to set reminders and those reminders will send a notification to your phone. So you'll always get the updates when something new is happening within your workspace or you're being alerted about a different reminder or a task that needs to get done within your workspace. One of the newer features that Notion has, which is probably one of my favorite right now, is the ability to add repeating tasks. So you can have a template within your database that allows you to have it set reoccurring either daily or monthly or weekly. And that can also allow you to automate some of the things that you might be doing on a reoccurring basis. Another thing that's really great about Notion is that you can assign things for other people. So that's really, really great when you're collaborating with others because it allows you to kind of label things that you're not responsible for and sort of kind of keep that collaboration and the accountability going throughout your entire Notion workspace. I know for me, my mind is always coming up with either a new business idea or a content idea or something relating to my career. So having a place to jot that down outside of just the notes app on my phone is really, 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 really key. When you have a bunch of databases um, just sitting in the background, the next thing to really put it all together is the dashboards that you can create with it. Creating a dashboard is a great way to just have a page where you can see 
what are some of the upcoming things or the things that need your immediate attention in regards to projects or tasks or anything that are, is relating to a specific area that you want to be able to visually see. This is where you can start to really flex those database views and start having like a list or a gallery view or even a table of some sort if you feel like that will allow you to be able to see things a little bit more clearly and allow you to take action. If you want an example of this, I highly recommend you check out my previous video where I share my content dashboard, where you can see how I plan, create, and track all of my content um, in Notion, and it just keeps me super organized and really consistent with creating meaningful content. Additionally, if you want to kind of get out of this big picture view when in relation to your goals and tasks, having like more of the smaller views where you're just showing maybe just a snippet of information that you feel like might be really, really relevant is going to be really helpful in making sure that not only are you able to take action right away, but you're also able to clearly see what has been done and what needs to get done. If by the end of this video, you're still not convinced to move to Notion, that's okay. I get it. Luckily for you, Notion has the ability to integrate with so many other apps like GitHub and Jira and Asana, and you can also connect it with other apps that might not be directly connected to Notion using Zapier. If you want to know how to use Notion and Zapier to connect to another app that you have, I have another video where I demo how to connect Notion with Airtable, but for me, having that ability to connect some of the other tools that I use with Notion allows me to bring everything that might be happening on different places on the internet into one place where I can take action on and keep track of. If you would like to take your productivity to the next level, I highly recommend you grab my goals and habits tracker template that I have in Notion. The link is in my description box. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what is one thing that is holding you back from being more productive. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.